Welcome to Dubai, the metropolis that went from being mere sand dunes 40 years ago with less than 80,000 people, a few buildings, a tiny airport without a tarmac, and almost no roads to the Vegas and Venice of the Middle East. Today, it is a hub for everything you can imagine, from next generation technology and renewables to space, shipping, and tourism. The city is simply unstoppable, luxurious in ways that are hard to describe, and often the first in anything and everything futuristic. All thanks to endless, never-ending, magnificent mega-projects, the city has become the home of countless millionaires, billionaires, and the brightest minds from around the world. It is also so ridiculously safe, you can park your unlocked and running Bugatti anywhere and it will still be there in a week. Well, except if it got towed away carefully to avoid scratching it. We wanted to include all mega projects that are currently under construction in Dubai, but we found that there are simply too many. So we decided to bring you some of the latest and biggest ones currently being rushed through Dubai's crowded mega projects tube. We are not going to start with Burj Khalifa, which is the world's tallest skyscraper and probably the only building in the world that features an ATM made from gold and dispenses only gold. No, we are going to start with the new, still under construction, Hob Tour Tower that is being built via the utilization of quite innovative and unique engineering methods that were indigenously developed. In May of this year, the Al Hub Tour Group announced the launch of one of the world's largest and most innovative sustainable landmark buildings, the Hob Tour Tower to be built in the prime location on Sheikh Zayed Road in the opulent Business Bay District. The new tower will be built in Al Hub Tour City, which is home to Dubai's most luxurious lifestyle destinations and internationally branded hotels such as the Hub Tour Palace, LXR Hotels and Resorts, the V Hotel, Curio Collection by Hilton, and the Hilton Dubai Al Hub Tour City La Pearl. The $1 billion plus tower will be the largest residential building in the world with ultra luxurious living facilities comprising 1,701 keys over a built up area of over 1 million square meters and 82 floors above ground. They are also using some quite intriguing techniques to build this massive futuristic luxury tower to cut construction time by more than a year. For example, to cut six months of construction time, they drove an 80 meter deep barrette, deep piling foundation system, coupled with a plunge steel column 15 meters high. This technique allowed the contractor to start the superstructure construction immediately by saving six months of work on a traditional foundation. This led to a single column, single barrette with a carrying capacity of up to 220,000 tons. This structural system was developed by one of the local engineering firms associated with the Al Hub Tour Group and represents the first time such a system has been used in Dubai. Before going ahead and utilizing such a new system, the builder validated it by some of the world's top engineering experts from renowned institutions and firms such as Structural San Francisco, Imperial College London, and Terrasol Paris. They are also using top quality, high grade steel 600 MPA, which again was never used in Dubai. This type of steel leads to the lowest usage of steel reinforcement bars and thus makes the building carbon footprint even lower. They are also using high concrete grade 90 for the barrette and C90 concrete for piles, which makes the building quite sturdy while reducing the amount of concrete needed for such a large and high structure. This amazing engineering technique and type of design is called top-down construction and leads to a saving of one year in construction time and the execution of 350,000 square meters of the built up area in 1,000 days. Naturally, the tower will feature top-notch comprehensive luxury amenities, 
such as a roof restaurant and cafes, a modern fitness center, a kids center, infinity pools, tennis courts, spas, relaxation spaces, gardens, a library, 360 degrees open decks, event rooms, and pretty much everything one would need to enjoy a life of luxury and comforts along with their family. The next on our list is a mega project called Urban Tech District Dubai. This futuristic 140,000 square meter complex will be the world's largest urban tech district. It is bound to further enhance Dubai's position as a world-class center for urban innovation. The project is based on biophilic design, which is a concept used within the building industry to increase occupant connectivity to the natural environment through the use of direct nature, indirect nature, and space and place conditions. It is used at both the building and city scale. This design has proven to provide immense health, environmental, and economic benefits for building occupants and urban environments with no drawbacks. Even though the concept is quite new, such design is actually quite ancient, with such architecture used in the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, which are one of the seven wonders of the world and dates back to around 550 BC. Dubai's urban tech district aims to become a living laboratory where innovation and entrepreneurship in urban technology come together to thrive harmoniously in a unique infusion of technology, business, education, training, and innovation that drives human potential to new levels. Located on the creek side of Al Jadaf area in Dubai, the urban tech district will create 4,000 jobs in green urban tech, education, and training. It will also be home to venture capital to provide fuel for entrepreneurs, thus empowering a unique collaborative urban tech ecosystem. The reason Dubai has such a great focus on projects related to creating sustainable cities has to do with the fact that by 2050, almost 70% of the world's population will be living in urban centers, which means if cities do not innovate and correctly adapt, they can become hellish, ugly, polluted centers due to crowdedness, pollution, climate change, lack of access, and lack of green space. This is why Dubai is leading the shift in the way planners integrate technology, green space, sustainable business models, and urban farming into cities to ensure they are sustainable. The next project on our list today is The Loop, which is yet another futuristic mega project in Dubai that will cost around $22 billion and is designed to make Dubai a heaven for those who like to access the whole city on foot or by bicycle anytime, year-round, regardless of the weather, in addition to enhancing social connectivity and reducing CO2 emissions. Technically speaking, the project constitutes an enclosed futuristic transportation structure that is solely designed for cyclists and pedestrians just to keep the population happy, healthy, and connected, but also to solve a huge problem. Dubai is very hot for 10 months a year. Its weather is similar to that of Miami, Florida, but without the hurricanes and humidity. This makes walking and cycling in the city a bit tricky, Additionally, the city does not have cycling and pedestrian paths, well, at least not long ones that connect different parts of the city. This fact renders Dubai a car, bus, or metro city. Additionally, joggers and cycling athletes would have a difficult time doing their thing outdoors. This is why Dubai is building the loop. And no, it is not a mere sheltered walking and cycling pathway. It is an actual stunning structure that stretches for 93 kilometers and features gardens, cafes, socializing space, vertical urban farms, a year-round controlled climate via the utilization of millions of plants that cool the air and absorb toxins, well-being areas such as outdoor yoga spots, and of course, unique cycling and walking paths that interestingly produce energy from the movement of people on them. The loop will encircle Dubai, which means that once it is completed, a person can technically never use a car again, since it also intersects with public transit hubs. The structure itself will be a combination of steel-supported glazed facades and roofs, an arc that extends from one edge of the foundation's concrete slab to the other, with various heights depending on width. 
The loop will also generate electricity using one of the cleanest energy sources on the planet, footsteps. Imagine this, every step by a person on the paths inside the loop will generate electricity that is transferred to the main power grid. We would like to go on and on today. However, we did make quite a few videos about several amazing mega projects in Dubai, such as Dubai Reefs, the Bugatti Tower, Palm Jebel Ali, Palm Jumeirah, and the Atlantis Royal. So make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching, and if you love Dubai, feel free to tell us in the comments section about a mega project you would like us to cover. And please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.